Totally Baseless. Hey, it's Totally Baseless. My name's John, and with us is a guy who may be a deep fake, maybe he's real, only he knows for sure. Welcome, ha how, uh, I mean, Dave. Yes, I am Dave Nafarati. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And a guy who Stormy Daniels is saying she absolutely, positively would never sleep with. Dan, welcome to the show. I tried to pay her to say she would. <laughs> well, I thought you'd be relieved to hear that she did say that. <laughs> well, that would have been the better answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, let's get on to our trivia question. What is after the top selling cookie, which is uh, Oreo in the U.S., what is the second and third best selling cookie in the United States? Nutter Butter and Chips Ahoy. How many guesses are you going to take? <laughs> no, no, no. That, that's two and three right there. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I see. Uh, okay. Oh. If you're saying in that order, then you're wrong. Well, in the, the, if you're saying <laughs> Chips Ahoy, it is the second best selling brand oh, after Oreo. So I don't know. Is... I wasn't going to say Chips Ahoy. Thank you for giving him the victory. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what is the third best selling cookie brand in the United States? Keebler Elf. Yeah. Keebler oh. is number four. Oh. But this oh. is sort of a trick answer. Ritz. Does that give famous it away? Famous Amos. Nabisco. No. Still going with Famous Amos. Uh, no, no. He's Unless number he died tragically. seven. Oh, wow. Okay. Mrs. Fields. Mrs. Fields is <laughs> not in the top ten. Yeah, yeah. It was just a cookie outlet or <laughs> whatever. But, you know, I, I, I see this in some of the lists and not in all of them because they're not a normal distributed for profit. Scout cookies. That's it. Ten. I, I almost had to drag it out of you <laughs> by hand. But it, yes. Girl it rhymes with Schmirl Smouts. <laughs> are the third leading brand in the U.S. Wow. after Oreo and Chips Ahoy. Because they're the mob. They'll break your legs if you don't buy their damn cookies. Oh, yeah. They're... they're well, yeah. Oreo or the Girl Scouts? The Girl Scouts. <laughs> or the Keebler Elves. <laughs> oh, they're, they're a bunch of bastards too. For other reasons. <laughs> they're all mobbed up. Big cookie. <laughs> Big cookie. The, the five right. cookie families. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get into the our articles, which is um, actually being maybe a little bit worse than that joke we just made. Christy, yes. Christy Gnome is, was a contender. And I say was a contender possibly, to be a vice presidential candidate, candidate with Donald Trump until her memoir came out. And there's a little bit of controversy with that because she says that she shot her 18-month-old, wait, dog, <laughs> not her kid, no, uh, wire-haired pointer who she hated because the puppy didn't do its hunting training well and she ended up shooting the dog in the face, which she is saying that it's just something that you have to do because the dog is meant to be a hunter. And if it's not doing its job, it, uh, it has to be offed. So she said she really didn't like this dog. And the dog apparently was giving her the stink eye. Now, these are not uh, allegations. This is what she's saying in her memoir. And... She's actually the one reading this part out loud in the audible in the audio book as well. She might be either shooting up in the rankings of the Republican Party, <laughs> or she might be out of contention for good. You never know, right? <laughs> right? It's like it's, <laughs> it's, it's a toss-up. <laughs> that could either be a good never thing or a bad thing. These days. Yeah, where is their like moral compass? <laughs> Wait, did you, you say puppy that? or a homeless person? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like how, how she said, I hated that dog. So you, you like that? Well, well, I, I like that that, <laughs> that she shot the dog, but the excuse she gives is, you know, yeah. that it wasn't doing its training and all that, but she hated the dog. So she didn't shoot the dog because it wasn't do it wasn't trained well. She shot it because she hated it. Yeah. So that's like the first thing that comes out of her. Or at least the first it's thing a that you read disciplined her dog. And who was disciplining the dog, Christy? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if the dog isn't well trained, 
<laughs> Whose that's... fault is that? It's a dog. It's a puppy. It's a puppy. I mean, like, according, if you're a kid, to, according if to you're Mr. Kid... Miyagi, no such thing as bad students, only bad <laughs> only teacher. Bad teacher. Yeah. Have you ever met a puppy that did what it was supposed to do? Right? Exactly. No. Bad, but nobody else goes around shooting their dog in the face and saying, yeah. hey, it's because he was bad. Oh, and I hated it. So it was more of the yeah. hate thing, I think. It's like, if only there was another option for getting rid of a dog that you can't train. If only they had these places <laughs> where you... Oh, but they don't. Yeah. Uh, he bought he the farm. Another, where's, yeah, where's my brother? <laughs> On another farm further upstate. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. And seriously, what kind of discipline is she going to give her kids, right? <laughs> it's like, I, ha I have to show them that I'm tough. I can make tough decisions. No, you can't. That's your answer. <laughs> if that's your answer that's a to a tough decision. decision. Yeah. yeah. That's not a that's not making a tough decision. I mean it is, but it's making the bad choice in a tough decision. <laughs> yeah, that's not the flex that you think it is, right? Yeah. It's not showing your political chops when faced hey, with a man. tough decision. I'll, I'll shoot a puppy. What? I can make the hard decisions. Mm, like, but you can make them oh. incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's kind of like taking pride over the fact that like we invaded Grenada, right? You're like, you shot a puppy. We won, yeah. <laughs> USA, <laughs> USA. It's Grenada, we man. Ass, right? <laughs> we, inv we invaded a club men. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's, it's, it's like it's 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 like the Harlem Globetrotters playing the Washington Generals, right? <laughs> hey, yeah, and then you're the Harlem Globetrotters, and then you rub it in, right? <laughs> Oh, no, that's not a flex. <laughs> the only other thing, well, my other big problem is, why the fuck is she writing a memoir? Like, who, who is, is she? <laughs> <laughs> who is kicking down the door to know about this third-rate South Dakotan politician's life? Exactly. Up until up until she shot the dog, no one heard no. about her. <laughs> no one cared. Don't give anybody ideas there, Dave. Well, listen. You know, uh, no, can really uh, uh, increase my political clout. Bragging about killing a puppy. People love that. I mean, if it was a cat, we'd understand, right? Are you hey. with me? <laughs> That's a joke, people. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, to, to, where's her mind at? Where she thinks that's like showing her it's going to win over voters. Yeah. Well, yeah. Which voters? The psychotic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To keep that. Yeah. Those guys were already those psychopaths were already going to vote for Trump, right? You don't have to, you don't have to win over the psychopaths. You got that vote. I think she I think she's she's trying to you know play up a play up that thing so uh, so she, so she could get the the nomination for vice president from Trump. <laughs> Even Trump when when Trump's looking at you going mm, I don't know yeah <laughs> when and Trump said I think you went a little too far you know right? you've gone too far. And how low is that bar, right? Exactly. <laughs> like, to be a good candidate for Donald Trump's vice president, and you blow it, you're like, <laughs> well, yeah. Well, when he says, "Whoa, you got a little too far," <laughs> yeah, you've gone way too far. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, of course, Peta had something to say about this, and for once, they didn't sound too too far out there. They said they denounced the governor for letting this rambunctious puppy loose on chickens and then punishing her by deciding to personally blow her brains out rather than attempting to train her or find a more responsible guardian. But that's what we do at the farm. We shoot him. <laughs> yeah, that's it's like, like, it's like, you're not helping your case. <laughs> everybody, everybody else would have said, you know what? We got to give this dog away. <laughs> Let's go, or, or or let it run free, right? I mean, even old yeah. Yeller had rabies, and yeah, it was a rabid dog. You don't just like go wantonly killing dogs that you don't like. Yeah. And he was not happy about doing it. Yeah. <laughs> at least yeah, that little kid wasn't cried. bragging about it. Yeah. I mean, she's yeah, the one hurting. who who publicized this. Yeah, you're like, how dare they dig into my? No, you went out and told everybody that you like killing puppies. Yeah, yeah, it's the mainstream gotcha media. <laughs> right and then she's like it's it's trying to make him like red state culture world you don't understand how we do things on the farm no yeah, <laughs> yeah that's her her quote is um in her defense she said we love animals but tough decisions decisions like this happen all the time on a farm 
Uh, she posted on Twitter, now X. Sadly, we just had to put down three horses a few weeks ago that had been in our family for 25 years. Yes, they're old horses. And <laughs> that's a different, right? Well, you put them they're, down. They're presumably suffering. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I well, think no, they weren't that... listening. I think they weren't <laughs> listening to her is what happened, right? She didn't say why they put them down. <laughs> she thought, are you looking at me? Don't, don't look at me. They don't gave her the stink me. eye. Yeah, don't yeah. give me the stink eye. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> How does it sound when you shoot a horse? <laughs> pop, pop. Okay. That she went actual... gangster. She went gangster on him too, sideways, right? <laughs> Holding that gun sideways. Oh, man. <laughs> so needless to say, she's, uh, I think, out of contention now for a vice presidential candidate. When you make Sarah Palin look like an appealing moderate, you might have uh, put yourself out of contention uh, on your own there. Well, she's not the only one that's taking things just a hair too far. A superintendent in California got angry that some students didn't clap loud enough for her daughter. She threatened the students by revoking their graduation privileges if they didn't apologize to her daughter right away. So a, a slight, quote unquote, abuse of power on this little high school stage as well. Yeah, this is something like out of a Lifetime movie or like <laughs> yeah. it was part two or some crazy shit. Dance moms or something, right? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you didn't clap for my kid. No, 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 you didn't clap loud enough. They clapped, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And it's not like they gave her like the loser cough. They clapped. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Was, was it know. a slow clap though? Yeah, you, your clap really wasn't like enthusiastic. It wasn't enthusiastic <laughs> enough, right? My kid didn't <laughs> feel like she was loved. Yeah. You call that a clap? <laughs> How enthusiasm. <dare> enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> you're like walking behind that at the banquet with a baseball bat behind them all <laughs> yeah well i don't hear you who's who's not clapping are you not clapping over there hey i'm looking at you start clapping you do not enjoy my daughter's softball skills do you find her <laughs> lacking in some way <laughs> <laughs> am i here to amuse you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a weird ass power play, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I've always thought it was pretty crazy when parents like got into a fight with an umpire or something like that, or a coach who didn't have their kid play enough or something, but clapping enough. <laughs> and she also tried to get the softball coach fired because he stood up for his players by telling her that, no, they weren't dissing your daughter. And he tried to get her fired. And then when they investigated, I guess the you know they had more witnesses corroborating. Oh yeah, students. she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy, I think, with the official quotes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we've decided to part ways with the superintendent, crazy lady. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of power, and people, some people just let it get to their head. There's no way yeah. she she's never said, "Do you know who I am?" Before, do you oh, know yeah. who I am? I run the Poway uh, school board. Right. school district. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. And she was a doctor, so she's obviously well educated. Uh, that doesn't mean she can't be crazy, right? Yeah, that that, that, yeah. Just got, that didn't go anywhere. Yeah, That's... no doctors ever run anything crazy. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Mister <laughs> Doctor Mengla. Great guy. Hello, Doctor Mengla. Is that you on the other yeah. line? Yeah. Who would suspect a doctor of unseemly behavior? But, but you would think you wouldn't be go around arguing. You know with what? Kids. I, I don't think you've met enough <laughs> doctors, Dave. <laughs> I'm gonna get back at all them high school girls yeah, that, yeah, right. that ignored me. I can finally get vengeance. Yeah, <laughs> my plan has come to fruition. It's all falling into place. <laughs> this is actually like the worst episode of the Dukes of Hazard. Is <laughs> what this sounds like. Yeah, like this that episode, petty, right? Boss Hog gets you to clap for his niece. You know, it's, it does sound like that. Because it's not even like real corruption; it's like bottom level, like entry level it, corruption. Well, yeah, it's not. It's, I mean, yeah, it's abuse of power. It, it's a Karen in a position <laughs> of authority, right? There you go. I think you just summarized the whole article. Well, I mean, I hope that's a lesson to parents out there to tell their kids to clap loudly. And, <laughs> yeah. Anyone Clap for everybody equally. 
right? Yeah. You never know. You never know who someone might be watching. Uh, that's that's the American way. Who's crazy yeah. parent out there? Some places just are just fed up with tourists. They don't want anybody to to come visit them, or they could just get swamped, like in Venice. I mean, that place is just packed. They can't handle the tourism anymore. And the same thing is happening in Japan. Japan has been swamped with tourists. And one town has found a way around this by building a big screen to block off their view of Mount Fuji. So you can't get a beautiful view of Mount Fuji from the road where the tour buses go by because they've, they've blocked it off. They don't want you to see it. That's a big ass mountain. I'm pretty sure you could see it. <laughs> just, to, yeah. just, just move just, ten feet. Move ten feet to the left or ten feet to the right. You're gonna be able to see it. Yes. No, 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 Mount Fuji here. All gone. <laughs> Don't look behind that. <laughs> All out of Mount Fuji's. Nothing here to see, folks. <laughs> okay, no, no, David. Around the edge of that billboard. <laughs> yeah. It's like Don't a David Copperfield magic trick. <laughs> He made Mount Fuji I disappear. Will now make Mount Fuji disappear. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> Is this a David Copperfield kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then all the residents of this town were trained to say Fuji. Never heard of it. No, no, no. <laughs> Fuji Mountain? What mountain? There's no mountain There's here. No, mountain. no, no, no. <laughs> that's that's three towns over. You want to go three yeah. towns over? Yeah, right, right. Like they, yeah. they send them all to their rival town nearby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it's because it's because a picture went viral, right? That where they took a picture, and the the mountain is like looks like it's sitting on top of that sign for that building. It says Lawson. I don't know if it's a drugstore or a gas station. Yeah, Lawson's a big yeah. chain in Japan. Oh, is it? Did not know that. I thought it was like a mom and pop shop. Oh, look, one one American <laughs> made it out to Mount Fuji and set up shop there. Lawson's. One scrappy American immigrant moved to Japan to pursue Lawson's, his dream. Uh, a Mitsubishi Corporation store. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> down home, you know, you, you think of like some down home American living in Japan, making a business. Nope, it's owned by a Japanese corporation. Maybe that's their message. Mitsubishi, plan. How from the people that American brought you the zero. Knowledge? Yeah. <laughs> from zero to hero. Ah, oh, there you go. But you got to file, and this is why we can't have nice things, right? They took a nice picture, they welcomed tourists in, and then people got to fuck it up enough that you have to pretend that there's no mountain there anymore. <laughs> yeah. Got that becomes your next option. <laughs> well, right? they, tried, they tried signs, they tried security guards, and nothing. I'm like, dude, you brought it on yourself. The oh, Japanese aren't it. are playing, the Japanese aren't playing around. They're like, hey, they asked you politely with signs. They even put a security guard. And when you didn't listen to him say, don't do that, that's it. They're so taking their no mountain they're taking for anybody, them, right? Yeah, exactly. That's... They're taking their mountain and going home. <laughs> no, no mountain for any of you. <laughs> you all lost your mountain privileges. <laughs> Nobody gets to see the mountain now. Well, the... <laughs> see what you've done? Turn away. Turn away. Close your eyes. Well, the other idea they had was to move the mountain by 10 feet. <laughs> but this that was easier. That would cost too much. You know, you can if it go would have the been cheap route, States, though, right? If it would have been here, we would have gone with the option of, well, let's try to move the mountain. Good yeah, old American we assumption. Spent, we would have spent the trillions, right? We would have spent the trillions to do the thing that can't be done. Oh, and and, and we wouldn't have got it done, but we would have spent the millions trying. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> no, we'd find <laughs> a way to it. profit from it. You know, we just raised the price to go there somehow. Sir, we've tried for the last seven years, but we still can't move the Grand Canyon. Yep, Japan had 25 million visitors last yeah, year. Black screen. And is uh, projected to have 32 million visitors, a, a new record in 2024. So and all just, 32 uh, million on that sidewalk. Trying to take <laughs> you're going to be on Mount that Fuji. one sidewalk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they knew what they were doing. <laughs> Look down, sir. Look down. Uh, uh, uh. Look down. Just keep walking, walking. <laughs> Yeah, you, you're holding up the line. There's 32 million people that need to get by. Come on, keep moving. What's going to be awesome, though, is the black screen is going to turn into the photo op. It's going to be... <laughs> yeah, right, right. Or, or, or someone's going to put a picture of Mount Fuji on the black screen. <laughs> and an advertising. 
Or worse, they're going to put up like those fucking wings that are like on all the alleyways, like in Melrose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So you're going to have a bunch of influencers taking pictures in front of the wings in front of Mount Fuji. Well, Japan's a great place to go to. Still encourage you to go. And please send us your pictures of the black, the famous Fuji black screen. We, we'd <laughs> love to see it. Thanks for listening. Please hit subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.